Good morning, children. How are you? Are you studying well? Okay. I'm telling you, children, you will never get a time as this. You have plenty of time. You have ample time, right? And are you making the most of it? You have to. See? What, what do you do all day? Tell me. I tell you, children, I'll give you a plan. You do some one thing. You study for four hours. Okay? And study in the sense like watching videos, what I am sending, what the other teachers are sending, and then writing your notes and learning them, all of them together for us. Then afterwards, you can you can do something like helping your mom in the kitchen or some many of the houses they are not having maids, maids are not allowed to come, so you can sweep the floor or wash dishes and then for your entertainment girl children i am telling you for your entertainment please don't watch the screens you can do so many things for entertainment like read a story book then uh, you can uh, paint something or draw or uh, or play with your siblings but i tell you i tell you children i i request you please don't have screen time I mean for entertainment, screen time, not more than a, I mean half an hour, not more than half an hour. I tell you children, because that will spoil your eyesight during this lockdown time, lockdown time, many children are spending hours and hours and hours together in front of the screen. Please, you don't do like that children, our Atkinson school children are very good, you'll obey, isn't it? Okay, please don't spend much time in front of the screen. Do you understand? You are thinking this is giving a moral instruction class? No, no children. No, no. I am your well-wisher. So I want your good. And this is perfectly a science class. So let's go ahead and learn our science. Children, today we learn an experiment to prove that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. As I told you children, for photosynthesis we need four things. What are those four things? Carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll and sunlight. Now among these four, I have chosen chlorophyll. Now we will see how chlorophyll is very essential for photosynthesis. Now for this experiment, you need certain things. You need a variegated leaf. Now what is this variegated leaf? See children, some leaves are not completely green in color. They are not completely green in color. They have some white patches or yellow patches here and there. Such leaves are called, see here, they may have, suppose if you take a, a money plant. It has uh, green, I mean, white patches like this here and there. White patches. Have you observed the money plant? See, you can see the white patches this way. So, this kind of a leaf is called variegated leaf. So, you need a variegated leaf. Then you need a beaker. Then this is a tripod stand. And you need a Bunsen burner. And you need a test tube and you need ethyl alcohol or it's also called ethanol and you also need iodine. I'm sorry, I forgot one more thing that you need a petri dish, a dish, a small dish like thing or a white tile you need. So these are all the things that you need for this experiment. Now get, let's get started with the experiment. So take this, take a potted plant, take a potted plant of this sort or take a money plant now don't pluck it out children let it be in the pot and then you keep the potted plant in a dark room when you put it in the dark room what happens is it cannot prepare its own food so what happens it does not prepare so that is called destarching the plant so what is this starch starch is the form of food green plants prepare glucose during photosynthesis and they store it in the form of starch okay when you put the plant in the dark room for three days it cannot prepare food at all 
so the leaves do not have any kind of starch in them so after three days what do you need to do take out the plant and put it in the sunlight put it in the sunlight bright sunlight for at least six hours then after six hours pluck out the leaf okay pluck out the leaf now why do you put the plant in the sunlight for six hours now when you during the time you put the plant in the sunlight for six hours it can prepare its food okay so now now take out this uh, pluck out this leaf and then put it in the boiling water okay now you kept it in the boiling water when you boil it in the i mean when you boil this leaf in the water for some time all the enzymes get denatured so they do not interfere with our experiment then what do you need to do now take this leaf out of the boiling water take it out of the boiling water wash it under tap water and then put it in a test tube see this is called a test tube put the leaf in the test tube and pour ethanol into it and children by any chance you should never heat this directly on the fire you should never heat this test tube directly on the fire because ethanol catches fire ethanol very quickly catches fire so you have to heat this one indirectly in the beaker so now so now take this test tube and put it in this beaker So now you can see here this is a beaker containing water and then this is a test tube containing ethanol and the leaf. So indirectly you are boiling the leaf in alcohol. Okay now why should you do this boiling the leaf in alcohol indirectly? So when you are boiling children in alcohol all the chlorophyll gets dissolved. And then the leaf turns white in color. When the leaf turns white in color, now you can take it out of the test tube. So with the help of a forceps, take out the leaf out of the test tube. And then put it on a white tile. Take a tile, white tile. Or you can also take a small petri dish and put the leaf on this tile. Okay, and now how is the leaf? In which color children? It is in white color. Now, now you can take uh, sorry, iodine. Take iodine and put a few drops of iodine on the leaf. Now with the help of a dropper. You know what's a dropper? This is a dropper. With the help of dropper. Put few drops of iodine on the leaf. Now you are putting few drops of iodine on the leaf. When you put iodine on this leaf. Now what, how should it turn? You have already learned in your 6th standard. If you put iodine on starch. Into which color does it turn? It turns into blue black color. So if the leaf has starch in it. It should turn into blue black color. Now see here children, we will see which color it turns now. Okay, after some time, you can observe the leaf has turned bluish black in color. But not the whole leaf. Why? See, I told you this is a variegated leaf. It had white patches here. Do you remember it had white patches here? 
before putting into this water before doing the experiment you remember i told you to take a variegated leaf a money plant leaf which is having white patches on it so the the whole leaf does not turn bluish black in color these parts remain white in color whereas the other parts they turn bluish black in color this part or this part turns bluish black or blue black and here these white patches remain white as they are so we can say now we can say clearly that chlorophyll is definitely necessary for photosynthesis so these parts contain chlorophyll the white parts of the leaf they do not contain chlorophyll so the green parts of the leaf have prepared starch uh, in the presence of sunlight whereas the white parts of the leaf they did not prepare they did not prepare starch so they remain as they are so this experiment proves that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis now here is another experiment which proves that water is necessary for photosynthesis water is necessary for photosynthesis and i told you we have already learned that chlorophyll is very very essential for photosynthesis in the same way water also is very essential for photosynthesis and now for this experiment you need two potted plants as you can see here we need two potted plants of the same size now put these two potted plants in two incubators you can see here these are incubators what is this incubator incubator is a transparent box which allows the sunlight to get in okay but it does not allow other gases to enter in only it is transparent so it allows sunlight so what happens inside this incubator now see you have to regularly water one plant for one week regularly water this plant so you're watering this plant and the, you're not providing any water for this plant so you do like this for one week and after one week oh i'm sorry before that week check the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide in this incubator and also in this incubator both should be the same before one week if when you check the level of carbon dioxide and water in these two incubators the level should be the same in both the incubators okay now after a week when you check the level of carbon dioxide and oxygen here if you check it here it will be, it will be different from that of this so the oxygen content in this incubator will be higher and there won't be any oxygen here in this incubator or it will be very very low now what is the reason behind this so during photosynthesis what happens is oxygen is released into the air since we are watering this plant this plant can photosynthesize because it has all the four ingredients water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll so photosynthesis can take place here i tell you children e even if one thing is missing from all these four things the plant cannot prepare food material or otherwise photosynthesis cannot take place here photosynthesis did not take place since we did not provide water so when you check the oxygen content in this incubator it will be very very low so this experiment proves that water is necessary for photosynthesis water is necessary for photosynthesis so in today's class we have learned that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis and water is necessary for photosynthesis in the next class we will learn how 
sunlight is very essential for photosynthesis. That's all for now children. Have a nice time. Bye bye. God bless you. See you tomorrow.